Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and obliterate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Clearly, stocks have fallen today because we had multiple earnings reports that just did not live up to investors' expectations. However, we did see a big win in regards to NVIDIA, which we will talk more about later in this video. Meanwhile, we did see a company named Intuitive Machines go parabolic in their share price, and here's why that happened. The reason for this enthusiasm is because they had a pilotless aircraft remain on track to touch down on the lunar surface of the moon on Thursday. So investors are very excited about this, and this has caused their share price to absolutely explode. So if you want to look further into an interesting company, feel free to type in Intuitive Machines into your brokerage. But this is not the only news that is out of this world. For instance, American Airlines is increasing their fee to check a bag at their airport by 33% to where it could cost you $40 for domestic flights. Now, you could argue that American Airlines, which is a company I personally hold in my portfolio, is just following the similar hikes that we've seen from Alaska and JetBlue. But even with that being said, an increase of 33% to $40 just for a checked bag is insane. But this is good news for investors, considering that it will help their top of the line, which is going to be great in future earnings reports. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Next up, we see Fubo TV suing Disney, Fox, and Warner Bros. Discovery. If you recall from a previous news update, we talked about how Disney, Fox, and Warner Bros. Discovery is announcing a joint live sports platform. However, Fubo cited that this would be extreme suspension of competition in this area, which is why they filed a lawsuit against this entity. I'm actually pretty interested to see how this will play out, because honestly, Fubo TV does have a good point here, but only time will tell what actually happens. Next up, let's talk about how Capital One has agreed to buy Discover Financial Services services for $35 billion. For context, these are literally the two largest American credit card issuers in the states, so this is going to be a huge deal. As of right now, the deal has not officially gone through, but it would create the US's largest credit card company by loan volume, so this is going to be very interesting for these companies, and this will reflect very positively on their share prices. Now let's do some analysis on some larger stories, such as NVIDIA's fourth quarter earnings results. NVIDIA ticker symbol NVDA, has been one of the best AI stocks to buy year to date. The vast majority of artificial intelligence companies use NVIDIA's technology in their artificial intelligence models and platforms. And recently, NVIDIA reported their fourth quarter results, which topped Wall Street estimates on both their top and bottom lines. In regards to their bottom line, the chip giant reported adjusted earnings per share of $5.16, which beat estimates of $4.60. Likewise, for their top of the line, which would be their revenue, they brought in $22.10 billion, which beat estimates of $20.41 billion. So this is fantastic news for the company. The founder and CEO of the company even said that the accelerated computing and generative AI have hit the tipping point. Demand is surging worldwide across companies, industries, and nations, end quote. So this means that this demand is going to flood into NVIDIA because everyone wants the technology that NVIDIA can give them so they themselves can create their own artificial intelligence models and platforms. Therefore, we can see NVIDIA's share price continuously tick higher, but please be careful and watch out for a pullback, which is inevitable in this company. But in the meantime, I think it is one of the best AI stocks to buy right now in the market. However, we do have a lot of bad news today, and for our bad news, we're going to start off talking about Rivian Automotive, which is an electric vehicle startup company. Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-N, sharply decreased in their share price. The reason for this sharp decrease in their share price was due to the company reporting their quarter four results. The company guided for a large EBITDA loss in 2024, while their revenues did rise 99% year over year, however their earnings per share loss for the quarter was much larger than anticipated, and investors did not want to see that. Rivian currently trades for around $15.39, but investors believe this company will go even lower due to these results. The company said it produced 17,541 electric vehicles, while they delivered 13,972 of those vehicles during the same period. 
but that would just be a quarterly estimate. Because the company produced electric vehicles for the entire year of around 57,232 vehicles, while they delivered 50,122 electric vehicles, which did top the most recent full year 2023 production guidance, which is great news. Because that guidance was actually around 54,000 vehicles in which they beat and topped this estimate. But despite this good news, investors are not impressed, and here's why. Looking ahead into 2024, Rivian expects to produce 57,000 vehicles throughout the entire year, which is not really a big jump from what they brought in for 2023. On top of that, their full year Abita guidance says that the company would bring in a loss of $2.7 billion, and investors did not want to hear that. But the news gets even worse, because the company said that they are also reducing the number of salaried employees by approximately 10%, and this is why Rivian shares dropped by 15.7%. Lastly, you should know that the short interest, or the people who are betting that Rivian stock will go lower in their share price, stands at around 15.2% of their total float. This means that a lot of investors want to push down their share price, and this is going to negatively impact their share price in the short term. So if you are personally an owner of Rivian stock, I would love to hear your thoughts about this update down below. Our next negative news story would consist of Fortinet, Sentinel-1, CrowdStrike, and other cybersecurity stocks which have plummeted in their share prices lately. The number of cybersecurity companies that have slumped recently is unparalleled. Just listen to these metrics. Shares of Zscaler, ticker symbol ZS, plunged by 13.9%. Cloudflare lost around 4.2% in their share price, ticker symbol NET, while Fortinet dropped by 4.2% as well. But that's not all. We also see CrowdStrike Holdings, ticker symbol CRWD, tumbling by 9.4%, and Sentinel-1 dropped by 10.8%, all in the same time period. However, the strange thing about this is that there was no specific company news for any one of these companies which should have caused this decline. The author of this article, as well as myself, checked the usual source which would cause a decline in a company's share price, such as various regulatory filings, analysts upgrading or downgrading the company's stock, or financial reports. But nothing came up for any of these companies that would cause such a substantial decrease in their share prices. But there's one company that I did not include on this list, and that would be none other than Palo Alto Networks, which did recently report a very negative earnings report recently. Their share price literally dropped by 28.44%, and this is why other cybersecurity stocks are falling in their share prices. Palo Alto is a market leader in this regard, and that's why these other companies are looking towards Apollo Alto for positive news. But since positive news did not come, and instead negative news took its place, these other companies also fell on Palo Alto's weakness. Now, in my opinion, I'm actually going to use this as a buying opportunity to buy into the majority of these companies. Let me remind you, there was no company-specific news that would justify the decreases in these companies' share prices. Therefore, these drops are unjustified, and that's why I'm actually scooping up these companies right now because I love buying phenomenally strong companies on weakness. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below if you hold any of these companies, which would include Palo Alto Networks, Zscaler, Sentinel-1, CrowdStrike Holdings, Fortinet, and Cloudflare. For more information on these companies, feel free to look at the lower right-hand side of your screen where you can see their recent percentage changes, how much money they've lost recently, their current share price, and their ticker symbols. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this news development. It seems that the market just can't catch a break right now because we have more bad news, and this time it's in the form of Etsy. Etsy operates an online shop where you can find the perfect handmade gifts, clothes, and unique jewelry. In this company's earnings report, they've reported a revenue increase of only 4.3% year over year to $842.3 million, which signifies one of their lowest quarterly revenue growth rates in the company's history. So that's one of the reasons why investors did not like these results. However, it gets even worse. Etsy's GMS, or Gross Merchandise Sales, for the first quarter of 2024 is currently estimated to decline in the low single-digit range on a year-over-year -year basis. So this is even more bad news for their future projections. Obviously, investors did not want to hear this either, and that's why shares of Etsy fell by around 4.67% in their share price. Now, let me remind you, this does not mean that Etsy is a bad company 
in general. It just means that they are experiencing a short-term volatility. However, I do not own this company in my portfolio because I think there are better investment opportunities on the stock market right now. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below about Etsy and whether or not you hold it in your portfolio. And to continue the bad news, let's talk about the latest news update in regards to Boeing. Boeing is a very successful aircraft manufacturer, which has had a lot of negative news come out about the company recently. In a previous video, we talked about how the Boeing Max 9 actually lost a door panel mid-flight on an Alaska Airlines flight last month. That was just eight weeks old. So this is one of their newer planes. However, since then, Boeing just got more unwelcomed news. Recently, on a United Airlines flight, a Boeing 757 was forced to make an emergency landing in Denver after damage was discovered on one of the plane's wings. However, in my opinion, this is not really bad at all, considering that this is one of their older planes, while their Max 9 was one of their newer planes that was just eight weeks old. Boeing's production of the 757 aircraft stopped back in 2004, and therefore these planes need a lot of maintenance. So this was not a manufacturing issue like the other one, this is a maintenance issue by the airline. So this is not Boeing's issue, this is the airline's issue. However, this does just add to the mounting amount of problems that have happened for Boeing over the last year. Luckily, their latest incident as of right now has not reflected in their share price, even though the company's share price has fallen by around 22% during the year of 2024. This is another company that I am buying on a weakness, because I think fundamentally, Boeing as a company is extremely strong. So I would encourage investors to look further into this company, because it could be a phenomenal opportunity to buy and hold for the long term. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Boeing down below. But we're not done with bad news yet, because we also have to talk about Teladoc, because Teladoc's shares absolutely crashed today. For some background information, Teladoc is an online healthcare specialist, and their share price recently dropped by 23.7%. The reason for this drop is because Teladoc released their quarter four results, and investors were less than impressed. The good news here is that the company did post a loss for the period that was significantly smaller than expected, but the company's sales performance for the quarter missed Wall Street estimates by a large margin, on top of the company also bringing in very disappointing forward guidance. So let's jump into the numbers. Teladoc posted a per share loss of 17 cents per share on sales of $660.53 million for the fourth quarter. Now, the good thing is that analysts originally anticipated the company to post a loss of 24 cents, but instead the company only posted a loss of 17 cents per share, which is pretty positive. However, revenue was not so fortunate, considering that they were anticipated to bring in around $670.1 million, but they only brought in $660.53 million. In my personal opinion, if I had to choose between either them beating on earnings or beating on revenues, I would pick beating on earnings. But it seems that many other investors would disagree with me, considering that this caused the share price to plummet by over 20%. But as you can imagine, this gets even worse, especially if we consider that the company's sales growth has now stalled out. Therefore, it seems that investors are not impressed with the financial health or the future outlook of this company, and honestly, neither am I. Now, I do nibble at this company here and there because I think that it has a very interesting business model, and I also know that Kathy Wood is also playing around with this company. But I would encourage you to do your own research on this company before you make any investment decision, especially if you decide to invest into Teladoc Health. Next up, let's talk about Beyond Meat as they unveil their revenue plant-based burgers. If you're not familiar with this company, this is a meat substitute company, and they have their Beyond Burgers, which some people really seem to like. However, it doesn't seem that investors like this company, considering that their share price has trended downwards for a very long time. Now, the reason we're going to talk about them today is because their newest formula for their plant-based burgers actually seems pretty interesting. Beyond Meat just unveiled their revamped plant-based burgers, and they launched a new version of its patties, switching to avocado oil instead of of using canola or coconut oils. On top of that, these new burgers will have more protein and less sodium, according to the company. So obviously, this is going to be healthier than their previous iteration of the burger. According to the company, this will be their fourth iteration of the burger, in which the company also says that they will have only two grams of saturated fat per serving, and it will be 230 calories, while having 21 grams of protein. In general, this is a pretty positive catalyst for this company, but their overall share price has trended downwards aggressively. So hopefully, 
hopefully they can stop this trend and actually activate a reversal. As of right now, I personally do not hold this company, but I do have them on a watch list because I'm interested in the future of this company on whether or not these meat substitute products will ever really catch wind. But until that happens, I will just be an interested spectator and I will not invest into this company until they prove themselves first. Last but not least, let's talk about some upcoming earnings on Thursday, which would include companies like Block, Main Street Capital, VICI Properties, Vail, and Mercado Libre. For me personally, I am going to be paying attention to Block and Mercado Libre because I really like both of these companies, especially Mercado Libre. I just recently posted one of my portfolio updates and I said Mercado Libre is going to be one of my favorite stocks for the year of 2024, so I would highly recommend you go back and watch that video because I go through my favorite stocks to buy throughout the year of 2024 and I also gave a portfolio update in which we grew a $2,000 portfolio up to $114,000 in a relatively short amount of time. So for more videos like this one, or if you want more stock market news updates, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next YT video.